Hey guys, Clone Guy here, and where are we? We're on highway, but it's not us. It's Vader on the PlayStation 4, maybe the PlayStation 5, I don't know which, but he's on the PlayStation, and he's in the Amex 13105. Now, Vader has been a long-time viewer of the channel, and probably at least two years now. And when he first started watching, and he joined the Discord and shared some of his results, I'm going to be honest, they weren't the greatest. His stats weren't the greatest. He was not great. But boy, let me tell you something. His recents and his games he's been posting and having... He's been having games. He's become great. And it's a pleasure to see people getting better at this game. Because so much hope is lost watching the player base. The player base and seeing somebody with like a five-year emblem on their tank. And having a 45% win rate. And they refuse to get better at the game. And they blame everybody but themselves. But as you can see, Vader here, he's got two marks of excellence on his Amex 13105. He has stepped up a lot. Remember, we all started off in this game not great. And the only way to get great is becoming great. And I know that sounds, well, duh, obviously. Yeah, but that's like a choice you have to make. You know? And he's, he's playing his light tank here on Highway playing it conservatively, which is how you would want to play at the start of any game, especially with your light takes, guys. Don't yellow in, don't get killed. That's something I see a whole lot on the EU server, a whole lot with the PlayStation 4 players, um, a whole lot with the Xbox players, a whole lot with literally everyone playing light tanks. But here we have Vader, who is not doing that. He is going to be, like I said, playing conservatively. And now that he's noticed that this seems to be clear, he's going to push up and hopefully extend some view range for his team, playing the light tank like a light tank. You are the vision. You are, especially late game, the most important piece in the game. If your team has a light tank, and the enemy team has a light tank, but your light tank does not scout, and theirs does, you lose. That's where the steam rolls come from, is your team not being able to shoot back while their team is shredding you, right? So, kudos for him for extending vision. He's got the C100 spotted in the base. Why is there any 100 in the base? You know, just that's all, that's all I can say about that. E100, hello. Go play the game, sir. <laughs> nah, he's gonna. He's very content with not using his joysticks to move. I think perhaps maybe he's playing with one hand, and and that's quite possible. You know, there's a lot of people who perhaps you know had it, were in accidents, lost their hands, or maybe they were born with only one hand or whatnot. So I'm not gonna judge the E100, but right now at the moment it seems like he is only playing with his right hand. His left hand is... Maybe he got his left hand caught in like a fridge. It's like slammed in there. And so he's... That's all he can do. Who knows at this point. Uh, but there he is. Just sitting there. Interesting, interesting. He could have one hand. I'm serious. He could. But if he doesn't, then I'm insulting him. Alright. Moving on from that. Waffenträger. He's not getting much assist because he doesn't really have a, a firing line behind him. The firing line behind him is all down in the river so they don't have shots hopefully they'll cross and join him if they're not going to be shooting they may as well at least join him he's only got 400 assist damage right now but he's still zooming around still full health lighting things up there's a guy a guy he's gonna put a shell in. he misses the first shot bounces the second shot someone is shooting at him crashes into a tree slows him down he's gonna fire that one on the move and he misses his entire magazine misses there it looks like there's an e100 yeah the e100 with one hand one handed e100 player uh misses now, if he had two hands, it might have been easier. But he's getting the spot for that guy, which is good, so it doesn't really matter. Waffenträger, he spots up. E100 misses again. What was that? Can't see what that is on the small screen. Is that an Iron Rain? Must be, because he just fired again. And again. Three misses from the Iron Rain, also using one hand. At least the enemy team is full of one-handed players. That's what, I, that's what I'm feeling like. Oh, no, he's able to back up. No, he's, he's not. Waffle, he puts one shell in. Waffle is looking, but scared. And he doesn't fire off the second shell. Smart move there. And uh, you'll see why later that was, you know, a smart move. But he's got a shot here. He's going to go for it, and he misses it. Already hits him, though. Already makes up for the shot. Here comes somebody. Don't know who that is. Small screen. And I know that today's video is only a 720. And that's one of the... A nice shot there into the drive wheel. That's a great shot. Underneath the side skirt, straight in the hull. That's a great shot. At that angle, this gun has a very difficult time going in. And uh, he put it in perfectly, so great job there. And that's a trap a lot of players fall into when shooting the side of E100, is shooting the side skirts. The side skirts are thick, especially when angled even just a little. Um, so great shot there. 
But back to the, the thing. 720. I know. Where's the 1080 clone guy? You know, not everybody has a nice setup like I do for recording. And I don't even have a great setup for recording. I have a... Uh, you know, it's just a nice setup. You know, it's nothing, nothing super special. Um, it's enough to get the 1080. And that's what we like. But, like I said, not everybody has that. Not everybody has the money to do that, or they've just not invested in that kind of a thing. Of course, I've made all my money back because I have a YouTube channel. So I'm perfectly fine spending, you know, money on a laptop, money on a capture card, money on software needed. Right. I'm perfectly fine with that. But not everybody else is. So, we can't complain about the 720 at all. You know, it's a great game. And, uh, I'm happy to see it. He takes two hits there. One from the Iron Rain, and another from someone else on the distance who doesn't spawn. But the E100 is still trying to shoot him. But you notice how the E100 was driving in a straight line earlier without moving his turret? Probably because he had to move his hand over to drive. Because again, he's only got one hand, and he wasn't able to shoot back. But now that he stopped moving, he's able to shoot back again. So, you know, I'm starting to feel bad, because I'm starting to think he actually does have one hand as I'm watching this. Just the way he's playing. And E100. He one-handed. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. If, you, if you're watching you on one hand, this isn't... I'm not making fun of you. I, I swear. I swear. You know? It, I, I promise. You know, some people have one hand, and that's okay. Some people have no hands, and that's okay. But I just like making fun of E100 drivers. That's all. I mean, E100 drivers. <laughs> All right, what's he doing now? He's firing on the move. He misses that shot. He's going back to his base. He's got the speed to do so. He's got a medium tank behind him, so he's decided that's not a good idea. Driving up, he can't shoot him either while he's uh, driving upward. Somebody just texted. Me. Okay, I'm not gonna read that right now. I'll read that later. And he's gonna go for the reload again. Cycle it. He's got two tanks left. The enemy team has seven. Oh, yeah, two versus seven. That's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a tough one to bring back. That's for sure. He's gonna retreat from here. Smart play, smart move. Definitely needs to relocate. Doing the right thing here. He's pulling away from this tank destroyer here. Getting out of his view range before he shoots him. That's the right play. He's gonna get, there we go. Now he's got cover. Nope, he's gonna get even further away. Smart, smart. Now he has bushes. This is where he wants to shoot from. His friend dies, one versus seven, dead. Boom, he gets spotted anyway, probably by that guy over there. Yes, it is, it's definitely that guy. Boom, one versus five. Goes from a one versus seven to a one versus six, then to a one versus five in just one magazine. And he's gonna cycle a reload. Yes, he has 25 seconds on the reload and one versus five. This is normal call of Banos right here. However, he had two other tanks to fight. One versus seven is very difficult to come back from. And what's he going to do to get this done? The other E100 we know is a one shot and the medium tank we know is a one shot. Then there's also artillery. And then there's the Iron Rain. Huh. Suddenly this seems doable. The Iron Rain looked like, what was it, a two shot? The medium tank was a one shot. E100 one shot. And then you have artillery. There's the E100. Belly side up. Will it fly true? Oh. No, he's not getting it. He holds his shot there. Four APCR shells left. And then he's on to his heat. How many heat does he have? It looks like six. So he's got to make, make these shots count. Okay. There's a shot. I don't think that's enough. It misses. He's gonna try again. Where is it? Not worth the shot now. The guy's breaking his... Notice how the turret was staying still again? I, I, I'm, I'm, I think he's got one hand. Or he's at least playing with just one hand. Look, he can't do both. He can't drive and turn his turret at the same time. Quite interesting. See, look, the turret's not moving. Interesting. He's loading up the heat shell, that's the right play, especially at this range. He can go straight through that lower plate with this heat, as long as he doesn't roll low. But with plus 25, minus 10 on penetration, he should go through no problem. In fact, APCR in today's world of tanks might even be enough, but the thing is, for light tanks, at 500 meters, you lose 25% of your penetration. That's kind of crazy. It's like 9% or something like that on medium tanks, tank destroyers, heavy tanks, firing APCR. So the 25% is huge. There's the medium tank. Fire it. Oh, he misses. Iron Rain is somewhere. Don't want to get hit by that. That was the... Um, okay, so yeah, this is the other medium tank. That was probably the Iron Rain that missed. There's the E100. No, there's the Iron Rain. Was that an Iron Rain? Yes, it was. Dead. Gone. Now he's got this medium tank. He's going to fire blind. No, he's not. He's going to go for the reload. So he's got a Trinity behind him, or a beach party, should I say. 
That's kind of scary. It's not a terribly scary tank, but when, you know, you don't have much health left. There you go, and he's full health. It can be kind of scary, so he's putting distance between himself and them. Good play here, smart. Keep on playing to your advantage, and your advantage in a game like this, there's artillery missing narrowly, oh my gosh. Your advantage is your speed and your camouflage, and your view range. You have three advantages over all these guys, and that is what he's playing for right now. And he's going to isolate this medium tank who's by himself, there he is, and he's going to execute him, hopefully. Unless he can't aim, let's find out. He's got heat loaded, does he remember that? Doesn't matter, he puts it in, fires, easy hit. Maybe he remembered, maybe he didn't. He aimed uh, slightly ahead, and he hit, perfect. Good lead. And now he's going after the E100 and the artillery. And I think that's the right play. No, never mind. He's turning back around. He's fooling even the guy watching. That's how you know he's doing it right. Like, I can't even tell where he wants to go, what he wants to do. Just sets up right here. The E100... <coughs> excuse me. The issue with the E100 is E100 can one shot him. However, we know for a fact the E100 is playing with one hand. So, the E100 should not be able to keep up with him if he, you know tries to get around him. The artillery, though, is also going to be there. It's going to take one shot to kill. He's loading up heat. He's going for the 100. It's going to take one shot to kill. The 100 and two for the artillery. One magazine should be enough. There's the 100 right as he cycles a reload. He's probably kicking himself now because that's a beautiful side shot right there. APCR easily goes through that. As you can see, did you see how he had to stop? Look at it. All right, he stopped. Now he's turning his turret. <laughs> Look at him. He stopped to turn his turret. He's got one hand. I'm telling you, he's got one hand. If you're watching this video, Mr. E100 Diver, do you have one hand? And if you are, I, I congratulate you at playing some, a game like this and not playing artillery, because that's commendable. Playing playing in a tank and not artillery. If I had one hand and I played Brolo Tanks, I think I would solely play artillery. I think I would. Wow. All right. So he kills the one-handed E100 Driver. The E1 handed, as we've decided. Now he's got artillery. Misses the first shot. Okay, the guy fired. You have time. Just put these shots in. And one last shot will kill him. Done. Gone. Out of the game. Fantastic. Loading up his APCR shells now. He's got six shots left. Or is that five? I can't tell. Base is being captured. He knows exactly what the Trinity is now. Trinity? He can take three hits from the Trinity. If the Trinity rolls low, that is, he can take three. Otherwise, two hits is all he can take, and the third will kill him. So... It's a smaller gun on that Trinity, which means it's got a faster reload. So perhaps putting two shells reload, two shells reload might be the best play. But we'll see what he does here. How is he going to pull this one off? Get the win here. He's got full health, the Trinity has, versus a low health light tank. And tier 8 mediums are more than capable of dealing with tier 10 light tanks. This is not the situation you'd want to be in in your light tank against any tank, because anything can pen you, anything can damage you. Let's see what happens. What's he going to do? He's going wide. Try to put some shells in behind him. Trinity is slow. That's good. It's not very nimble. The yeah, MX-13105 is. He must be behind this barn. There he is. One. That one bounces. That bounces right off his booty because of all that space armor. Puts a shell in. Got to get around him. Oh, he takes a hit. Yes, he does. He gets around and puts another shell in. He's loading up his heat shells. He's got two shots left. Can he get away? Turn left. Come on. Keep that building. Good, he is. Keeping that building. He can take one hit. So the play... He also only has two shells left. So probably the best thing he can do right now is just... Once he's loaded, go in. Take the hit. Put the two shells in. Because he has to make them count. And it doesn't matter whether... You know... He fails... You know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, you know, it comes down to him missing a shot because he only has two, so that would be bad. Anyway, but he puts it in. The guy puts a shell in as well, and he finished him off with the last shell. Wow, that happened fast. I thought it was going to go a little bit longer, but it did not. He kills off the Trinity. Picking up a Call of Banos Metal 1 versus 7 Call of Metal, and that was also his last shell, meaning he also got the rare and coveted Faden's Metal. Kolobanovs and Afadens in the same game. Seven kills. He only killed the tanks. He only killed tanks when he's all by himself. He's kind of a lone ranger, it seems like. Devastator metal. Kolobanovs. Getting higher on that two marks of excellence. Ace tanker, of course. Defender metal. Top gun. Fantastic game. Anyway, thanks, Vader, for sending this in. If you guys enjoyed, 91.5%. He's going to get those three marks. Get those three marks, son. 
you enjoyed, slap that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Bin. Link in the description below. Make sure you go check out uh, my book. Link to my website in the description below. It's now, it's it's digital. It has been for a while. And I'm currently working on an audiobook. That is what I'm going to be trying to do in the near future. So we'll get that going as well. Uh, but that's it. Thanks again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.